Hi, I'm Matthew Widget. Thanks for stopping by. In the next two or three minutes, I'm going to show you a few ways that can help you feel more productive and empowered every day. That is, if you spend a lot of time in your inbox. So how am I going to do that? Well, with Outlook 2010, a part of the Office 2010 suite, I'm going to show you how you can get your inbox down to zero. Let's have a look at how you can do that. So normally what I would do when I'm processing my inbox and working on my inboxes, I would set aside a good chunk of time, like an hour, but we don't have that time now. So I'm not going to walk through all the, the replies and nuances and so on that I would do on a daily basis, but I'm going to show you the tools that are provided within Outlook 2010 that can help you process the inbox more quickly. So for starters, when I look at the inbox, there's a couple things that you'll notice. First of all, as with most inboxes, there are subject lines that are similar across multiple subjects. We can actually compress the number of emails in Outlook by showing as conversations and not as individual emails. By applying that, you've instantly seen my inbox go down by a significant amount. The other thing that you can notice is that the Outlook Social Connector here will show you emails and conversations and status updates if you're connected across social services such as LinkedIn or Mingle and enable you to connect more readily and easily with people just like I can launch an instant message directly from within the inbox as well and I could say hello to Javier right like that. When I look at my inbox, way that, the way that I work is I work in my tasks so I try to get emails out of my inbox but it could be a manual process of assigning it a category flagging it and then moving it to an action list folder. All the emails in the action list folder do show up in the task list so I know that that's going to help me focus on on working on tasks later on today however right now I just want to clear out my inbox. So another thing I want to show is quick steps. Quick steps are fully customizable and automate pretty much most things in Outlook. So in this case if I go through here and I say that this is something that I need to review it'll take me quite a while I can click on the at job one I've created Yours could be called anything. It could be called at work or at career or it could be you know, anything that you you decide to name it. Again, it's it's contextual based on what your what your needs are. And I've just called it at job. This one here, I might need to do something. It might be that I need to um, uh, do very quickly and easily. So I'll click on this job light one. This one here, well, I'm, I may not really be interested in this, this thread anymore. I participated earlier on it, and I don't need to get any more emails on it. Or it might be something that's important that I want to pay attention to. The, 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 this is an exact review, exact review, so I am going to care about this one. But there's no action for me, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to file that off. Again, just with one, one click or keystroke. And you can do keystrokes because you can assign the control shift and then any of the numbers, such as control shift one, to uh, that particular quick step action. Here, here's something interesting uh, that I need to work on. I'm going to have to do a quick reply on that. This one here, I don't need to care about this anymore, so I can hit ignore. And this whole thread will vanish. I've set it to go up to my reference. You can do it to go to your deleted items. And now any new emails on that thread, I will not receive. So we'll go through these. This is something I might need to do a bit of work on, a bit of work on this one. This one, I'm going to move from clicking on the buttons to using my keystrokes. I can ref I can see this. This is just uh, information for me, so I'm filing that to my reference folder. Here's something I'm going to have to work on. Another thing that I I'm going to have to work on, but might take a you know, bit less time. So I'm going to turn that to a job light. Here we go. Something I'll reply quickly on this one. Um, again, this is something that I want to um, to follow up on. And then we're down to the the last email here. And uh, this is going to take me a bit of time. I'll go back to my mouse here and click on on job. So there we, we go. Using some of the functions within Outlook 2010, I've been able to process an inbox down to zero just within a couple minutes. So I hope you can apply this to your inbox with Office 2010 and find new ways to feel more productive, more be more effective, and to efficiently process your inbox so that you can work out of the task view and you can get more done every day. Thanks a lot for stopping by. But wait, I hear you cry. What actually happens when you click on the at job, for example, in the quick steps? The easiest way to show you is by clicking on manage quick steps, selecting at job, and showing you that three things happen. Firstly, the email is categorized, which makes it easier to manage. Secondly, it's moved out of the inbox into a separate folder to keep the inbox clean and clear. And thirdly, the email is flagged. These are all fully editable. The flagging, for example, 
makes sure that the email will appear in the task pane alongside tasks. And that's it. Simple as that.